bless you. Go abariki. Amen. Amen. Are you happy? Jim na fra. We had a wonderful time. Tulikuwa na wakati wa baraka. And I believe naamini that uh, the pillar of fire ile nguzo ya moto has solved our problems. Imetatua matatizo yetu. the gentle way of believing namna pekee wa watu wa mataifa kuamini is speak the word ni kunena neno and all is well na yote yanamalizika my desire shauku yangu is by the time i leave uh, tanzania ni kwamba wakati nitakapoondoka hapa tanzania you will never be the same again yani usiwe mtu yule yule tena May God promote you at work. Mungu na kuinue kwenye sehemu ya kazi yako. May God give you the desires of your hearts. Mungu akupatie shauku ya moyo wako. The, the sick must be healed. Wagonjwa lazima waponywe. Amen. Amen. The same God we are seeing in South Africa. Mungu yule yule tunayemuona kwetu kwa Afrika Kusini. May he be the same God you experience. Hebu naawe Mungu yule yule ambaye anawatokea na nyinyi hapo. Amen. Ne. I just want to give a little testimony. Ningependa nitoe ushuhuda kidogo. Uh, there's a, a, a sister in our church. Kuna dada kanisani kwetu. She is uh, my relative. Yeye ni ndugu yangu kimwili. My uh, wife's elderly sister. Ni ni dada mkubwa wa mke wangu so she went to the doctor sasa alienda kwa daktari uh, a time she was not feeling well alikuwa hajisikii vizuri and uh, the doctor said you have uh, fibroids e, daktari akasema kwamba una uvimbe kwenye kizazi so it really affected him kwa hiyo ikawa imeniumiza sana so she then went uh, to another doctor basi akaenda kwa daktari mwingine and uh, that other doctor uh, took a picture yule daktari akachukua picha and said you've got four big fibroids akasema akamwambia kwamba una una vimbe au uvimbe nne kwenye kizazi you, you have to consider maybe taking out the womb sasa akashauri kwamba inabidi labda aondolewe kizazi and uh, you know maybe operation but the operation it might not come out well akasema labda kwa njia ya upasuaji lakini upasuaji sidhani kama utakuwa salama so while she was uh, there so wakati yuko pale uh, she contacted me akanipigia she says ah, i'm so discouraged akasema ah, nimekata tamaa uh, sana nimevunjika moyo and uh, this is what the doctor has said sababu hiki ndicho daktari anasema so at that time we were hosting a, a, a pastor friend of mine pastor saidi eh wakati huo tulikuwa tumealika mgeni mchungaji rafiki yangu anaitwa mchungaji saidi so she said can i come tutakuona tutakutana kanisani ama kitu kama hicho and maybe we we'll pray for you na tutakuombea huko so uh, the, the husband called since they are related to me basi na mume wake akapiga kwa sababu wao ni tumetuna uhusiano and then he said pastor we are coming wakasema mchungaji tunakuja eh this one is not in the right space is not, not in the right frame of mind sasa ili si haliko katika eh, jambo hili sio zuri uh, so she really needs at least for you to talk to her kwa sababu yeye alikuwa na haja ya kuongea na mimi and uh, I said okay fine come akasema ah, basi njoni tu and then when they arrived wakavalipofika pale i would see on her face that she's not happy ningeweza kuona sura yake kwamba hana furaha so she said i've got a question akasema na swali pastor mchungaji you have preached about restoration wewe umehubiri kuhusu kurejeshwa you have preached about the third pool umehubiri mambo ya mvuto wa tatu does god restore fibroids ipi mungu anaweza kurejesha kizazi I'm, I'm, she had lost a, a baby through uh, those fibroids suffocated the child and Ali, she had a stillbirth 
alikuwa alipoteza mtoto kwa sababu ule uvimbe ulifanya mtoto akose pumzi tumboni so we, kwa hiyo mtoto akawa ametolewa akiwa jatimia so we having faith for the restoration of the child sasa tukawa we have a restoration of the child we believing for the restoration of the baby tulikuwa tunaamini katika eh, kurejeshwa kwa mtoto yule So she said we want the baby to be restored akasema tunataka mtoto aweze kurejeshwa but the restoration here looks like it's fibroids lakini hapa sasa inaonekana urejeshwa inaonekana kuna uvimbe hapa is this what god does hivi hivi ndivyo Mungu anavyofanya sasa so uh, pastor said said well so, that's, that's, a, that's akasema, a challenge ah akasema hii ni changamoto mchungaji You see and I can see they are very not happy. Nikaona kweli hawana furaha. So I said uh, basi nikasema God does not restore fibroids. Mungu hawezi kurejesha uvimbe. God will restore the baby. Mungu atarejesha mtoto. Uh, don't worry about these fibroids. Basi msijali yani kuhusu huo uvimbe huo. God will do something. Mungu atafanya kitu fulani. So let us pray for you. Nasema ngoja tuwaombee. So we prayed. Kwa hiyo tukaomba and I encouraged her. Mimi naamini kawatia moyo. Pastor Saidi read some scriptures encouraged her. Ndugu mchungaji Saidi akasoma maandiko akawatia moyo pale. The husband said no, she's better. Yule mme akasema hasa yuko sawa, yuko vizuri. And they left. Wakaondoka. So after about uh, two months or so, baada ya miezi kama miwili au kitu kama hicho Uh, I received a call. Nikapigiwa simu. Uh, pastor we are going to uh, there's a sister that's taking us to a specialist doctor. E, mchungaji tunaenda kuna dada mmoja anatupeleka kwenye mtaalamu daktari mmoja so that they can remove the fibroids. Kusudi waweze kuondoa ile ule uvimbe. They say it's possible so that I can conceive again. Wanasema inawezekana kusudi niweze kubeba mimba tena. I said praise the Lord. Nasema Mungu atukuzwe. That's all right. Tell me what the doctor would have said. Hivyo ni, ni sawa tu mtaniambia kile daktari alichosema. Says okay, they went there with another sister in the church. Basi wakaenda kule na Three dada mwingine kanisani walikuwa watatu kati. So they get there. Wakaenda pale. And uh, she goes in there. Naya kaingia kule ndani with their machines they start scanning wakatumia mashine zao wakaanza kupiga picha za ndani and then they said okay uh, maybe get let's let us have a different look now wakasema hebu ngoja tuangalie naona kama kuna muonekano tofauti sasa scan again wakapiga picha tena and uh, the doctor looked very worried daktari akawa ameshangazwa ame sana And the sister was already saying I don't like these doctors. Na dada alikuwa ameshasema mimi hawa madaktari siwataki. They always say negative things. Mara nyingi sana wao wanaongea mambo ambayo ni ni, ni, ni hasi kabisa. So he comes the doctor comes with a worried face. Sasa daktari kaja na sura yani amechangaa ya kushangaa. Uh, you say you've got fibroids. Sema wewe umesema una uvimbe tumboni. She said yes. Nasema ndio. She took out the doctor's uh, had a picture which shows the fibroids akachukua ile picha ya ya vipimo iliyo kwenye nyosha inaonyesha uvimbe and he says yes 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 i see akasema ndio naona kweli hapa picha yako inaonyesha and he took out his picture sasa daktari naye akatoa picha yake he says this picture sema hii picha shows you have fibroids hii hii picha ya kwako inaonyesha una uvimbe but this picture today lakini picha ya leo sasa shows you have no fibroid. Inaonyesha uvimbe haupo. God Mungu took out the fibroids. Aliondolea mbali ule uvimbe. Brother Branham told Sister Mida. Ndugu Branham alimwambia dada Mida. Before the doctors cut. Kabla ya madaktari ku gusa kwa mikono yao let the tumor be gone hebu na uvimbe uwe umeondoka now sasa when god does something 
Mungu anapofanya kitu fulani and it's true na ni kweli and we testify about it na tunakitolea ushuhuda that means if you are in the same situation hiyo inamaanisha kwamba kama uko kwenye hali ile your situation ile, is already done basi hiyo hali imemalizika are you hearing what i'm saying mnasikia ninachosema from there kuanzia pale you must come other testimonies unataka tunataka sasa kuanza hapo shuhuda zianze another brother had a, had a lamp on the end in our church ndugu mmoja alikuwa na kama uvimbe hapa kwenye visible lamp kwenye kwenye mkono unaonekana kabisa we preach we say the pillar of fire is here tulihubiri ukasema nguzo ya moto iko hapa to operate on your life kufanya upasuaji kwenye maisha yako i said right now ukasema sasa hivi we are in the doctor's theater tuko kwenye chumba cha daktari the great physician is here yule tabibu mkuu yuko hapa to remove all tumors kuondoa kila aina ya uvimbe the brother went home ndugu akaenda nyumbani you started looking for that thing akaanza kutafuta uvimbe that thing was gone kile kitu hakipo tena Are you hearing what I'm saying? Nasikia ninachosema. I went to Namibia just two months ago. Nienda Namibia miezi miwili iliyopita. And while I was preaching, wakati nahubiri, there was a sister that just ran from the back of the church. Kuna dada alikuwa anakimbia kule nyuma ya kanisa. And she came and she shook my hand from the pulpit. Akaja akanishika mkono nikiwa mimbarani. And I when I let her go she just fell on the floor. Nipo mwachia tu akadondoka pale. And I continued preaching. Nikaendelea kuhubiri. And I got a bit worried. Nikawa wawazia nikawa wanasikitika. Attend to this sister. Sema au nimhudumie kwanza yule. Because it's been some time now she's not getting up. Sababu naona hajainuka muda wote. So some sisters took her. Kwa dada fulani wakamchukua. And they went to the back. Wakaenpeleka kule nyuma. I preached we finished I left I went back to South Africa. Nivyo maliza mimi nikaondoka zangu nikarudi Africa. So I received a call. Nikapigiwa simu. From Namibia. Kutoka Namibia. It's sister so and so. So dada fulani na fulani. Pastor mchungaji I wanted to come to South Africa. Nitaka nije Afrika Kusini. To just see you. Ni kuone tu. I love your ministry. Nimependa huduma yako. I wanted to just shake your hand. Nataka tu nikushike mkono. But our visas were denied. Lakini sasa visa zetu zimekataliwa. And I was shocked. Na nishangazwa. To hear that you are coming to Namibia. Nishutushwa kwa sababu nilisikia kwamba unakuja Namibia huko. And I said finally that pastor is coming. Nikasema sasa mwisho kabisa ya wayote mchungaji huyo anakuja. I don't know what happened to me. Nijui sijui kilichonitokea. I found myself in front wanting to greet you. Nilijikuta tu ni kule mbele nataka kukusalimia. And when I greeted you, na nilipomaliza kukusalimia, I fell down. Niliondoka chini. But here is the problem. Lakini shida iko hapa. I had a big lump on the side. Nilikuwa na uvimbe mkubwa sana upande huu. And when I fell down, I fell down with the side which had the lump. Na nilipodondoka chini, dondokea upande ule ule wenye uvimbe. I don't know what happened. Sijui kilitokea nini. And then I found myself at the back of the church. Nilijikuta niko nyuma ya jengo kule. After we went back home with my husband. Niporudi nyumbani na mme wangu. My husband was trying to check if something is not wrong with me. Mme wangu alikuwa anajaribu ku nikagua labda kuna kasoro ni nayo. And I said I'm fine. Kaambia hapana sina shida yoyote. And then the following day, siku hiyo fata, I told my husband. Nikamwambia mme wangu, I think this lump is becoming smaller. Nafikiri huu uvimbo sasa unaanza kupungua. My husband looked mme wangu akanyangalia. He said ah no no no. Asema hapana hapana hapana. It's still the same way that it was. Huko vile vile kama ulivyokuwa. Say the following day, siku iliyofuata. While I'm dressing up, wakati ninavaa. My husband came in the room. Mme wangu akaja chumbani. He said you were right. Sema ah, ulikuwa sahihi bwana. That lamb is becoming smaller. Uvimbe huu unapungua. He says, sema eh. The following day, siku ya tatu iliyofuata. We both woke up. Wote tukaamka. We looked at the lamb. Tukaangalia uvimbe. The lamb was not there. Uvimbe haupo. Pastor I don't know. Sasa sijui mchungaji. Why am I saying this? Kwa nini nayasema haya? I am saying. Nayasema. If you have something on your body. Kama una kitu chochote kwenye mwili wako. That is not supposed to be there. Ambacho hakipaswi kuwapo. You don't need a doctor. Uhitaji daktari. You need a preacher. Unahitaji mhubiri. Hallelujah. Amen. We all cannot afford specialists. Si wote tunaweza kumudu gharama za wataalamu. But we all have access to a specialist. Eh, wote gharama za mabingwa, madaktari bingwa. 
but, but, but we all have a specialist lakini wote tuna bingwa mmoja the lord jesus christ bwana yesu kristo let's stand up on our feet tusimame kwenye miguu yetu i said nasema you are going to have a job Nilisema utapata kazi. I said, nilisema you shall end the poverty of your family. Utamaliza umaskini wa familia yako. God is starting a new thing with you. Mungu anaanza kitu kipya na wewe. Because you have believed the prophet. Kwa sababu umemwamini nabii, you shall receive a prophet's reward. Utapata thawabu ya nabii. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When 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 Roy Davis didn't believe in Brother Branham. Wakati Dr. Roy Davis alipokataa kumwamini Branham and he said you with grade 7 education. Akasema wewe na elimu yako ya darasa la 7. You are saying you are going to preach all over the world. Unasema utahubiri duniani kote. He says that's what the angel told me. Akasema hivyo ndio malaika alisema. And Brother Branham years later. Na ndugu Branham miaka mingine baadaye. He came to the pulpit. Akaja mimbarani. He said Roy Davis was in service. Akasema Roy Davis alikwepo kanisani. He said Brother Roy. Akasema ndugu Roy. The angel did not lie. Malaika wa Bwana hakusema uongo. By the grace of God. Kwa neema ya Mungu. I have been around the world. Nimezunguka duniani kote. Not once. Si mara moja. Not twice. Sio mara mbili. But seven times. Lakini mara saba. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Without education. Bila elimu God can do something in Mungu anaweza kufanya jambo maisha. Hallelujah. Amen. Without money without price. Bila pesa bila gharama. God I feel the anointing. Oh nasikia huo ukao. God is able. Anaweza. To do something in your life. Kufanya jambo maisha. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Mungu asifiwe. Let's uh, let's open our Bibles to the book of Genesis. Fungue Biblia zetu katika kitabu cha mwanzo. The book of Genesis is one of my favorite books. Vitabu kitabu cha mwanzo ndio moja ya vitabu ninavyovipenda sana. Genesis and Revelation. Ufunuo mwanzo na ufunuo. Mm. The two books I love them. Ndio vitabu viwili ninavyovipenda sana. And Brother Branham says Genesis is the seed chapter. Na nabii anasema mwanzo ndio kitabu cha mbegu. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Amen. Mungu na asifiwe. Genesis amen. chapter 1. Eh mwanzo sura ya kwanza. Everyone should be able to find this one. Kila mmoja lazima awe yuko tayari kutafuta hiyo. Verses 26. Mstari wa 26. And God said, let us make man in our image. Mungu akasema na tumfanye mtu kwa mfano wetu. After our likeness kwa sura yetu let them have dominion over the fish of the sea wakatawale samaki wa baharini and over the fowl of the air na ndege wa angani and over the cattle and over all the earth na wanyama na nchi yote pia and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth na kila chenye kutambaa kitambacho juu ya nchi so god created man in his own image hivyo mungu akaumba mtu kwa mfano wake In the image of God created he him. Kwa mfano wa Mungu alimuumba male and female created he them. E, cha kiume na cha kike aliviumba. God bless them. Mungu akawabariki and said unto them be fruitful and multiply. Mungu akawaambia zaeni mkaongezeke and replenish the earth. Mkaijaze nchi and subdue it. Na kuitisha. On verses uh, uh, let's start from 18 2 chapter 2:18 Tuanze tena tusome sura ya pili mstari wa 18. Says and the Lord God said it is not good. Bwana Mungu akasema si vema. So if you are a single brother, kama wewe ni ndugu bachelor, it is not good. Si vema. That man should be alone. Kwamba mwanaume akae pamoja. I will make him a help meet from him. Eh si vema nitamfanya nitamfanya msaidizi. Out of the ground the Lord God formed every beast of the field. Bwana Mungu akafanyiza kutoka katika ardhi and every fowl of the air kila mnyama wa msituni and brought them to Adam to see. Na kila ndege wa ngani akamleta Adamu ili aone what he would call them. Ataviitaje? And whatsoever name he called them, whatsoever Adam called every living creature 
Kila kiumbe hai jina ailo kiita Adam. That was the name thereof. Likawa ndilo jina lake. And Adam gave names to the cattle and to the fowl of the air. Adam akawapa majina yao kila mnyama wa kufugwa. And to every beast of the field. Na kila ndege wa angani. But for Adam there was not found a helpmate. <clears throat> Na kila mnyama wa mwituni lakini hakuonekana wa kumsaidia Adamu aliyefanana naye. The Lord God caused a deep sleep. Bwana Mungu akamletea Adamu usingizi mzito. To fall upon Adam. Eh uh, usingizi mzito ukamshika. And he slept. Naye akalala. And he took one of his ribs and closed up the flesh instead thereof. Kisha akatoa ubavu wake mmoja akaufunika nyama mahali pake. And the rib which the Lord God had taken from Adam. Na ule ubavu aliotoa katika Adam bwana Mungu. Met he a woman. Akaufanya mwanamke. And brought her unto the man. Akamleta kwa Adam. And Adam said Adamu akasema This is now bone of my bones. Sasa huyu ni mfupa katika mifupa yangu. Flesh of my flesh. Na nyama katika nyama yangu. She shall be called a woman. Basi ataitwa mwanamke. Because she was taken from men. Kwa maana ametwaliwa katika mwanamume. Let us bow our heads. Tuinamishe vichwa vyetu. Father we thank you for we've read what we believe to be your scripture. Baba tunashukuru kwa sababu tumesoma kile ambacho tunaamini ni maandiko yako. Anoint it now that it may be spirit filled spoken. Ipake mafuta ili kapate kuwa neno hilo neno. Hide me in the shadow of the cross. Na jifiche katika kivuli cha msalaba. And let Christ and him alone be the one that is magnified. Na hebu awe Kristo peke yake ambaye anainuliwa hapa. In the name of Jesus Christ. Katika jina la Yesu. Amen. Amen. You may be seated. Unaweza kukaa. I want to speak on Adam Adam. Nataka ninene juu ya somo Adam Adam. Amen. Adam Adam. Adam Adam. God said let us make men. Mungu akasema na tumfanye mtu. In our own image. Katika sura yetu. After our likeness. Afanane na sisi katika sura yetu. Let them have dominion. Na ebu watawale over the fish of the sea. Samaki wa baharini. The fowl of the air. Ndege wa angani. Now who was God talking to? Sasa Mungu alikuwa anaongea na nani? Who was God talking to? Mungu alikuwa anaongea na nani? When he said let us make men. Aliposema na tumfanye mtu. Yes. Ndio. Let us na tu. Now God was talking to somebody. Sasa Mungu alikuwa anaongea na mtu fulani. And we must know who he was talking to. Na lazima tujue alikuwa anaongea na nani. Mm. Is that right? Yeah, you know, so if if you want to know Ka, sasa, kama unataka kujua who God was talking to Mungu alikuwa anaongea na nani you, you you have to look at what God created inapasa ina uangalie kile Mungu alichokiumba Be, because he said let us kwa sababu alisema na tu and what we are creating the two of us na kile tunachokiumba sisi wawili pamoja or maybe the three of us au labda watatu wetu or maybe the ten of us labda walikuwa kumi wao we don't know yet Hatu who he was talking to alikuwa anaongea na nani but he said whatever we are creating lakini alisema chochote tunachokiumba must be in our image lazima kiwe katika sura yetu and after our likeness na kifanane na sisi so if we want to see who he was talking to kwa tukitaka kujua alikuwa anaumba anaongea na nani we see what was created tunaona kila alichokiumba because what was created kwa sababu kila alichokiumba was an expression of what was speaking kilikuwa ni madhihirisho ya yale aliyokuwa anazungumzia my bible i don't know about yours na biblia yangu sijui ya kwako my bible says so god biblia yangu inasema kwa hiyo mungu created man in his own image akamuumba mtu kwa mfano wake in other words kwa maneno mengine whatever god was talking to chochote kile ambacho mungu alikuwa ananena nacho was god kilikuwa ni mungu because if it was not god kwa sababu kama hakikuwa mungu it would have said so god and whoever created kwa hiyo neno lingesema kwa hiyo mungu it says so god let me first you can oh. I, want, i want there is someone something you spoke i want to interpret okay all right 
Asema, angesema kwamba kwamba e, kwa hiyo mimi Mungu na mtu mwingine e, tumeumba. Okay. Something like so yeah. God created. Kwa hiyo Mungu aliumba. It was not it does not talk about they created. Aisemi kwamba wakaumba. Inasema Mungu akaumba. Meaning that whoever God was talking to. Kwa hiyo kimaanisha kwamba yoyote ambaye Mungu alikuwa anazungumza naye was God. Alikuwa ni Mungu. He says in the image of God created Ana, he him. Anasema katika sura ya Mungu aliumumba huyo mtu. And male and female. Kwa hiyo kile cha kiume na cha kike created he them. Aliviumba yeye. So the image of God Kwa hiyo ile sura ya Mungu is male and is female. Ni cha kiume na cha kike. Can you say amen? Unaweza kusema amina. God. Kwa hiyo Mungu is male and is female. Mungu ni cha kiume na cha kike. And he says and he called their name Adam. Na inasema akawaita jina lao Adam. Their name was called Adam. Jina lao lilikuwa linaitwa Adam. Male cha kiume, female cha kike, both of them. Vyote viwili. Their name Jina lao was called Adam. Ilikuwa ni Adam. And he said be fruitful. Akasema zaeni and multiply. Kaongezeke and replenish the earth. Kajaze dunia and subdue it. Na mkaitawale and have dominion. Na mkawe na utawala. This man how how, how what of Genesis 1:26 Huyo mtu wa mwanzo 1:26 who was male and female ambaye alikuwa ni cha kiume na cha kike was an expression of God alikuwa ni dhirisho la Mungu in other words kwa maneno mengine he was a spirit man alikuwa ni mtu roho can you say amen naweza kusema amina he was not a man after the flesh hakuwa mtu anayetokana na mwili he was a man after the spirit of god alikuwa ni mtu aliyetokana na roho wa mungu it was god alikuwa ni mungu in a form katika umbo of the spirit la roho in other words kwa maneno mengine it was god who had reproduced himself ilikuwa ni mungu amejizaa mwenyewe Can you say amen? Naweza kusema amina. Uh-huh. You know when you say amen? Najua unaposema amina. The word God gets into you. Neno linaingia ndani yako. Because you are you are confirming the word. Kwa sababu unalithibitisha neno. And you cannot say amen. Na unaweza always always kusema amina. Unless you have the word in you. Mpaka uwe na neno ndani yako kwanza. Okay, let me let me let me clarify that. Eh ngoja niongezee hapo. Kidogo. If you find yourself ukijikuta wewe peke yako being a person who does not say amen to the word in church. Ni mtu ambaye hauitikia amina kanisani. It means you don't have the word. Inamaanisha wewe neno haliko ndani yako. In you ndani yako. You see? Unaona? If you if you see dogs there outside. U, ukiona mbwa wako kule nje, maybe you find them going eh and that one going eh Okay, Maybe you as a human being. Labda wewe kama binadamu. You become worried. Utaogopa. Those dogs are going to bite one another. Kwamba mm, hao ambao wanataka kungatana moja. But after some time, lakini baadaye, you find them going hey, una, come close to each una, other una, like this. Wana fanya eh hey, wanakumbatiana wana. And then they, they start wiggling their tail. Alafu wanatikisa mikia. Ah. And then they go together. Alafu wanatembea pamoja. The reason why you were worried wewe sababu ya kuogopa kwako is because you are not a dog. Pasa wewe sio mbwa. It, it takes a dog, yani inahitaji mbwa to understand a dog. Kuelewa mbwa mwenzake. It it takes a son of God, inahitaji mtu wa mwana wa Mungu to, to understand God. Kuelewa Mungu. That's why It takes you to be a believer. There must be the word. Ndio sababu wewe unaweza kuwa mwaminiyo kwa sababu kuna neno ndani yako ili uweze kuitika amina. Otherwise you don't understand me. Hutanielewa. 
Because you are not word. And the brother next to you will be saying amen. And you look at him. You wonder what he is saying amen. Ah, ah. It takes the word to understand the word. So our gathering is the gathering of the gods. Are you hearing me? It's the gathering of the gods. God is coming down to preach to God. And God is saying amen to God. Hallelujah. Amen. Yes. That was the services in the Bible in Genesis. When God created Adam, he rested. He, 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 he stepped down from being a pastor. God became the congregant. And Adam became the pastor. Adam And every day, around five o'clock. God would come for service. And Adam would take the pulpit. And he would say, Good morning, friends. Or, good evening, friends. And he says, God, today, Leo, I was in the valley. I saw an animal with, with big, with a lot of hair. And it was roaring. And as it was roaring, I called it. And I said, Your name is King of the Jungle. And the animal said, eh. And God would stand up. And God would say, Amen. God would say, Amen. Amen. God Mungu. was amening Adam. Mungu alikuwa anaitika amina kwa Adam. Mungu. Was aiming God again. Alikuwa Mungu anamuitikia Mungu amina. And brother Branham says. Na ndugu Branham anasema, we are back in Genesis again. Tumerudi mwanzo tena. We are back. Tumerudi. At the ministration of the gods. Kwenye huduma ya miungu miungu. Hallelujah. Amen. The name is not lion. Jina eh? The name Gina is not lion. Sio Simba. When Adam was preaching, he didn't say lion. Da, wakati Adamu, anaubiri haku sema Simba. Because lion is English. Kwa sababu Simba ni kingereza. Ani, lion ni kingereza u Simba ni kiswahili. And Simba is Swahili. E, Simba ni kiswahili, and, lion ni kingereza. And Shona is Shumba. Na kwenye kishona ni shuba. And it's one is tau. Na kwenye kishona ni tau. So Adam was not calling it lion, tau, Sasa, shumba, simba. No, Adam no, no. Adam no. alikuwa semi lion ni simba, shuna, sini. He, he was saying king of the jungle. Alikuwa na sema mfalme wa msitu. So I, did, I, didn't say, I didn't say simba, but when I said king of the jungle. Sasa siku sema simba, ila nipo sema mfalme wa msitu. You in Swahili. Nini kwa kiswahili huu. You catch it. Munalikamata. And us in shona. Alafu sisi wa. And them in English, they catch it. And, ah. <laughs> so Adam, Adam was preaching the message of the seventh seal. Adam alikuwa na ubiri ujumbe wa muhuri wa saba. Brother Branham says when the seventh seal is opened. Branham anasema muhuri wa saba unapofunguliwa. You will see your name in the book. Utaona jina lako kwenye kitabu. If you go through the spoken word, neno lilo nenwa, you are not going to see where it's written Tinashe. Utaona mahali pa meandikwa Tinashe. You will not see where it's written Arnold Msuya. Utaona mahali pa yenye Arnold Msuya. You will not see where it's written John. Utaona penye jina la John. You will not see where it's written Ezra. Utaona mahali penye jina la Ezra. But, lakini, there is a certain life kuna maisha when it's described ambayo yakionyesha. You stand up and say that's me. Wewe unasema huyo ni mimi. That's me. Huyo ni mimi. Hallelujah. When Brother Branham said, he says, I am going to call you bride. He didn't say Tinashe. 
Tinashe. But he said Tinashe. Tinashe. I realized that I am not just me. That's me. Hey, hey. 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 There was a boy who was staying in the rural areas. And while he was there, Brother Branham says his father had a little mirror. He says that only shows the mouth. Which his father used to shave. He says, but one day, his parents took him to the city. So in the rural areas Life is very slow It shows that it's a slower dimension But in, in the city now it's a faster dimension So when the boy came to the city uh, He came to his auntie's house and brother Branham says he went up the steps and he says playing in the house he started going up the steps and brother Branham says the house had seven steps from, from Ephesus Kwanzia Efeso, Smyrna, Simirna, Pergamos, Perigamo, Theatira, Theatira Sardis, Sardi, Philadelphia, Philadelphia, Laodicea. Laodicea. He says when he was standing on the seventh step, wakati amesimama kwenye ngazi ya saba, in the auntie's house, kwenye nyumba ya shangazi, he says there was a mirror, kulikuwa na kio, a full size mirror, kio ambacho kina kuonyesha mwili mzima. He says he was shocked. Anasema, kijana, to realize there was another boy kijana, alishuka, kuona, kijana, in the house and the auntie had not introduced him Na yule, a, alikuwa, to this other boy kwa huyo, kijana, so he said hello Akasema, hello and mambo. while he was saying hello Akasema, mambo, the boy in the mirror kijana, yule, waved his hand kwenye kio, nae, nae, and he was shocked the time is getting shocked. The boy in the mirror is getting shocked. And he moved this way. The boy in the mirror moved this way. He moved this way. The boy in the mirror moved this way. He started getting excited. He started jumping up. The boy in the mirror started jumping up. He looked downstairs. He said, Mama, Sema, Mama, that is me. Hallelujah. When the spoken word came, wakati neno hilo neno alipokuja. When the spoken word came, ujumbe ulipokuja. It was like a mirror to me. Ilikuwa kama kio kwangu. When brother Branham was preaching, wakati ndugu Branham anahubiri, saying you are the bride of Jesus Christ. Anasema wewe ni bibi harusi wa Yesu Kristo. I did this. Nilifanya hivi. The spoken word did this. Na neno likafanya hivi. I did this. Nikafanya hivi. The spoken word did this. Na neno likafanya hivi. I did this. Nikafanya hivi. The spoken word did that. Na neno likafanya. I got excited. Nikashangamka. And I started jumping. Nikaanza kuruka. The spoken word started jumping. Na neno likaanza kuruka. And I said, "Mama!" Nasema, "Mama!" 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 That is me. Huyo ni mimi. Here. That is me. <laughs> we saw ourselves in the book. Kwenye kitabu. Brother Branham says Branham the, the book was sealed kitabu kilikuwa with a mystery name. Na jina la siri. He says now that mystery name is not Omen Neville. Jina la siri sio Omen Neville. Olive. No say. It is the life. Ni maisha. The life is the name. Maisha ndio jina. You see, I'm called Tinashe Mahere. Tinashe Mahere. So the name is Mahere. Sasa, Gina, the yeah. name is Mahere. Gina ni Mahere. Because Mahere is the, where I'm coming from. Kwa mahere ndiko, nuko, nako, so the life that is in me Kwa maisha yoko dani yako. is Mahere life. Ni maisha ya mahere. So maybe my father can deny me. But he can't deny the life. When, when I grow up, 
nikikuwa sasa I'll start behaving like him Taanza kufanya kama anavyofanya My nose will grow like to be his Pua yangu itakuwa kama ya kwake My mouth will grow to be like Domo his mouth itakuwa kama ya kwake If he's a man who checks himself like this Kama ni mtu ambaye anajitikisa hivi hivi He will see that this boy Ataona huyu kijana Even though I'm trying to reject him Ana kama namkana Everything about him Kila ninachokifanya anachokifanya Is my ere this one Huyu ni maere huyu And you know I grew up under my mother's family Najua mimi nilelewa na kwenye familia ya mama yangu And after some time baada muda I met my father's family nikakutana na familia ya baba yangu the first time they saw me mara kwanza waliponiona they would be like this is patson's son wakasema huyu mtoto this wa patson this is patson's son huyo ni mtoto wa patson like, ah, they said we are the maheres wakasema i said what did you see me kajiuliza ninyi wewe mbona mnashangaa kasema wewe mtoto wa maheres wewe ni maheres of your father wewe una pua ya baba yako. Mouth of your father. Ndomo wa baba yako. Eyes of your father. Macho ya baba yako. But by the grace of God. Lakini kwa neema ya Mungu. I am not a child of the Maheres. Sasa saizi sio mtoto wa Maheres. I am a child of God. Mimi ni mwana wa Mungu. I've got the mouth of God. Nina mdomo wa Mungu. I've got the eyes of God. Nina macho ya Mungu. I've got the hands of God. Mikono ya Mungu. You are not the child of your parents. Wewe sio mtoto wa watoto. Wewe sio mtoto wa wazazi wako. Brother Branham says. Ndugu Branham anasema. I am not a son of Charles and Ella Branham. Mimi sio mtoto wa Charles na Ella. I'm a son of God. Mimi ni mtoto wa Mungu. I come from God. Natoka kwa Mungu and I go back to God. Narudi kwa Mungu. Hey. Hey. God created Mungu akaumba male and female. Cha kiume na cha kike. Call their name Adam. Akaviita Adam. So God is male and female. Kwa Mungu ni cha kiume na cha kike. God is our father. Mungu ni baba yetu. And God is our mother. Na Mungu ni mama yetu. <laughs> You will not hear this in the Pentecost house. Hayo uwezi kuyasikia kwa Pentecost. It's blasphemy there. Ni 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 kufuru hiyo. But here. Lakini hapa. God is our father. Mungu ni baba yetu. And God is our mother. Na Mungu ni mama yetu. As our father you protect us. Kama baba yetu anatulinda. And, uh, and fight for us. Na kutupigania. But as our mother. Lakini kama mama yetu. He says I'm El Shaddai. Anasema mimi ni El Shaddai. The double breasted one. <laughs> mimi mwenye nye, matiti mawili. Brother Branham says God. Dubrana anasema Mungu. Is an eagle. Ni tai. You believe that? Naamini hiyo. God is the great eagle. Mungu ni tai mkuu. And he comes and he preaches a message. Baadaye anahubiri ujumbe. As the eagle stareth henest. Kama tai anaposambaratisha kiota chake. Henest meaning she. It's Mana a she. It's a sister. Ni yani anatumia ile neno she. Yao. God is a, is, a, is, a, is, a, is a is a male and is a female. Ana anaongea kimaanisha tai wa kike. Brother Kwa Mungu ni mwanaume wa kiume na wa kike pia. Brother Branham says the logos. Ndugu Branham anasema ile logos he has a bride in a bibi harusi mm. it's a quotation you can ni, google ni it ipo and flash it there au ka yule the logo says a bride ile logo si ina bibi harusi and the bride of the logo is the logos na bibi harusi wa logo si ni logo because it must be born of the born word of my word flesh Masabla of my flesh sasa lazima awe mfupa mfupa wangu nyama nyama yangu neno la neno langu kila kitu you cannot be eternal if you were born in 1952 Uwezi kuwa wa milele kama umezaliwa 1952. You have to be there before Uitakiwa time. Utakiwa uwepo kabla ya wakati. As the bride part of God. Kama bibi harusi sehemu ya Mungu. So when God said let us. Kwa hiyo Mungu aliposema na tu. He was talking to me and you. Alikuwa anaongea na wewe na mimi. <laughs> He was talking to the bride. Alikuwa anaongea na bibi harusi. Because the bride and the groom are one. Kwa sababu bibi harusi na bwana harusi ni mmoja. God is not complete without me. Mungu hajakamilika bila mimi. I'm the other part of God. Na ile sehemu nyingine ya Mungu. That's why when the woman was created, ndio maana mwanamke alipoumbwa, she was not taken from the outside hakutolewa nje ya she was taken from the inside alitolewa ndani ya when i am created this is formation 
Kwa hiyo napoumbwa mimi hii ni kufanyika that he me is inside of me. Lakini yule mimi halisi yuko ndani I don't come from the outside. Sitoke nje. I come from the inside of God. Natoka kwa ndani ya Mungu. So God made Adam to sleep. Kwa Mungu alimfanya Adamu alale usingizi. And he made him to sleep so that he can take out. Alimlaza msingizi ili aweze kutoa kitu. A rib. Ubavu. In other words, Eve was sealed in Adam. Kwa maneno mengine Hawa alikuwa ametiwa muhuri ndani ya Adam. Is that right? Yeye ni sawa. So 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 Adam had to sleep. Kwa Adam ilipaswa alale. And sleep is a type of death. Na kulala ni aina ya kifo. Is that right? Yeye sawa. Just like the second Adam had to sleep also. Kama ambavyo Adam wa pili ni mpaswa alale pia. Which is a type of death. Ambayo ni mfano wa kifo. But and then God broke the seal. Na Mungu akavunja muhuri. When the seals were revealed, wakati mihuri ilipovunjwa, out came a bride. Nje akatoka bibi harusi. So if Christ was sealed, kwa hiyo kama Kristo alitiwa muhuri. Brother Abraham says he is those seals. Biblia anasema Nabii anasema yeye ndio mihuri hiyo. For the whole word of God is Christ. Kwa sababu neno lote la Mungu ni Kristo. He is the one that was sealed. Ni yeye aliyekuwa ametiwa muhuri. And we know that in there na tunajua kwamba mle ndani we were also sealed. Sisi wote tulikuwa tumetiwa muhuri. So the breaking of the seal kwa kufunuliwa kwa muhuri is the unveiling of the bride to ni kufunuliwa kwa bibi harusi pia. That's how we're supposed to believe it. Ndio tunapaswa tuamini hivi. So Adam was lost. Kwa hiyo Adam akapotea. Is that right? Sio. So he was sleeping there. Kwa amelala pale. God b- b- brought out the woman. Mungu akamtoa mwanamke. And then started making the woman. Akaanza kumtengeneza mwanamke. For seven church ages. Kwa nyakati saba za kanisa. In the seventh church age, kwenye wakati saba kanisa, the woman was perfect. Mwanamke akawa mkamilifu. Remember it was not Eve. Kumbuka hakuwa Hawa yule. Eve only starts after the fall. Hiyo Eve inaanzia Hawa inaanzia baada ya anguko. It was called the woman. Alikuwa anaitwa tu mwanamke. So we have got the men, kwa tuna mwanaume, and then we've got the who men na tuna mwanamke. So if you look at that uh, a woman is just a man with a womb. Kwa hiyo tunaweza ukasema mwanamke ni mwanaume tu lakini mwenye kitumbo la uzazi. My wife is me. Mke wangu ni mimi with a womb. Lakini kwa tofauti ni kwamba ana tumbo la uzazi. So what happened is you have, you have to, uh, to sleep. Kwa hiyo ilitotokea ni kwamba itakiwa alaze usingizi. I was a very beautiful man. Mimi nilikuwa ni mwanaume mrembo sana. With long hair na mnywele ndefu and smooth skin na ngozi laini. With button eyes, beautiful men. Na macho kama vi, nani vi, And God made me shati. to sleep. Mungu akanilaza chini. And he started taking the long hair. Akaanza kutoa nywele ndefu. The button eyes, macho ya, ya kama vifungu vya shati. Ngozi laini. And he formed this woman. Akatengeneza huyu mwanamke. And he got me up. Alafu akaniamsha. And he says you can walk around. Sasa sasa unaweza kutembea. While I was walking around. Wali natembea nazunguka huko. In South Africa one day. Huko Afrika Kusini siku moja. I saw this person. Kakutana na huyu mtu. I like hey. Sima hey. Those are my eyes. Hayo macho yangu. That is my mouth. Huo mdomo wangu. That is my skin. Hiyo ni nyenyele zangu. So there is no man that is ugly. Kwa hiyo hakuna mwanaume ambaye ana sura mbaya. It's just that the beauty went into somebody. Kwa sababu ule uzuri wa sura yako ulihamia kwa dada. <laughs> But if you see a beautiful man, hata ukimuona mwanaume ambaye ana sura nzuri. He woke up before the operation was over. Huyo aliamka kabla operation haijakamilika. Can you say amen? Amen. That's why a man needs to be a real man. Mwanaume atakiwa awe mwanaume kweli kweli. Don't wake up before the operation is over. Usiamke kabla operation haijakamilika. Have the voice of a man. Unatakiwa uwe na sura. Have the step of a man. Tembea kama mwanaume. Have the beard of a man. Uwe na ndevu za mwanaume. Onyesha mwanaume wewe. Hallelujah. Amen. This thing of men who look like women. Hao wanaume wanaonekana kama wanawake. They woke up too early. Waliamka mapema. You need to go and say brother. Nabidi waamshwe nduku. Go back to sleep. 
Rudi Kalale. Go back to sleep. Rudi Kalale. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Yes, sir. Dio. Adam is the one that says you. Adam, the other say my way, way. A bone of my bone. Nimfupa mfupa wang. He could not mistake the woman for the chimpanzee. When he saw chimpanzee, he said, "No." He says, "This one, the woman now." I say, "I say, I will be one." You are now born of my born. Flesh of my flesh. You shall be called woman. Utaitwa manamke. Who told him? Nani alimwambia? Who told him? Nobody. Nani alimwambia? Hakuna. God introduced him. Mungu alimtambulisha. And Adam knew this came from me. Kwamba Adam knew that this one okay. came from Adam me. Okay, Adam alijua huyu ametoka ndani yangu. He had no relationship. Hakukua na uhusiano with everything else that was outside. Na kitu kingine chochote kilichokuwa nje. Only had relationship. Alikuwa na uhusiano with this one. Na hicho tu. So this woman was called Adam. Adam. Male and female. Okay, give me Genesis chapter 5. Let me read that so that we clear the air. This is the book of the generations of Adam. In the day that God created what? Men. Siku ile Mungu alipomuumba mtu. In the likeness of God made he him. Kwa sura ya Mungu alimfanya. Male and female created he them. Mwanamme na mwanamke aliwaumba. And blessed them. Akawabariki. And called their name. Akawaita jina lao. Adam. Adamu. So my title is Adam Adam. Kwa hiyo kichwa changu ni Adamu Adam. It's not a repetition. Sio kwamba ni kudirudia. It's me calling the bride Adam. Ni mimi namuita bibi harusi Adam. And the groom Adam. Na bwana harusi Adam. Because their name. Kwa sababu jina lao was called Adam. Niliitwa Adam. Jina lao both of them. Jina lao wote wawili. Yes, Adam. Adam. Okay. Give us the first quotation. Hebu nipe nuku ya kwanza. We are already winding to a close. Tunakaribia kufunga. <laughs> you know it when we start reading the quotation. Unapoona nuku zinaanza kusoma. The flight is landing. Ujue sasa hapo ndege inashuka. I wish I had said amen earlier. Ah, Unaanza no kusema ah light ningesema amen 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 umechelewa ndege inatua sasa. <laughs> amen. Amen. God is good. Mungu ni mwema. Amen. You already there? Okay. Uko hapo tayari. Let's read from from. Goja tuisome hapo. Okay. Yeah. Says it should have been Adam screaming. Ilipaswa iwe ni Adamu akipiga kelele. Father, where art thou? Baba, baba uko wapi? Instead it was God saying Badala yake ilikuwa ni Mungu akisema. If you read in the Bible, ukisoma katika Biblia, you will see that God just said Adam. Utaona Mungu alisema tu Adam, where art thou? Uko wapi? He didn't say Adam, Adam. Hakusema Adam, Adam. But brother Branham comes. Lakini bwana anasema many times. Mara nyingi sana. He says God said. Anasema Mungu alisema Adam, Adam. Adam, Adam. Where art thou? Uko wapi? Mm. Brother Branham says a woman is a byproduct. Lubrano anasema mwanamke ni ni zao la linalotokana na only in the flesh. Katika mwili tu. She is not a byproduct spirit in the spirit. Kwa hiyo yeye uh, mwanamke ametokana na Adamu katika mwili lakini sio sio zao eh, sio zao katika roho lakini ni zao so, la pili kutoka so, kwenye mwili wa so, Adamu. So, so the man and the woman kwa hiyo mwanaume na mwanamke in the garden of eden katika 
They were on the same place. So if Adam was 500 years old, that woman, the day that she was created, she was 500 years old. Is it making sense? Because they, they were created together on the same day. On Genesis 126. Though the expression is later, but the, the creation is on the same day. The flesh of Eve was as old as the flesh of Adam. Because her flesh is the same as Adam's flesh. That's why she is Adam. Just like Adam is Adam. Is that right? Adam, Adam. Adam, Adam. Where art thou? And Brother Bram says, and, and that's the same thing today. So there's just not one bit of goodness about us. That we could say uh, we had anything to do with our salvation. It was God calling us by election. God did not say, Adam, Adam, what have you done? Mungu akusema, Adam, Adam, umefanya nini? God said, Adam, 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 where art thou? Uko wapi? So God is looking for position. Kwa yu mungu alikuwa natafuta na fasi. Not condition. Sio hali. You are not a son of God because of a condition. Wewe si mwana wa mungu kwa sababu ya hali. You are a son of God and that's your position. There is no condition that can take you away from being a son. It is us that try to make stories to God. Where are you, Adam? Adam uko api. He says, the woman that you gave me. God didn't ask about that. Mungu hakumuliza hayo. It's Adam who brought that subject. Adam de alieta ilo somo. Brother, where are you? Ndugu uko wapi? Come and stand on your position. Njio usimame kwenye nafasi yako. Paul says after standing. Ah, Paul anasema baada ya femin. After standing, baada ya kusimama, again I say stand. Nasema tena simama. On what? On your position. Kwenye nafasi yako. And your position is that you are a son of God. Na nafasi yako ni kwamba we ni mwana wa mungu. Is that right? Ye ni sawa. Okay, let's go to the next quotation. Tuende kwa inuku nyikine. The Ephesian church age. Wakati wa Efeso. Now that we come this far, let me try to crystallize your thinking on this subject so that you can see the necessity of us going into the serpent seed. Kwa sababu tumefika umbali wote huu, ebu ni jaribu kukolezea zaidi Mawazo yako kwenye somo hili weze kuona umuhimu wa sisi kuendea somo la uzao wa nyoka. So the, the, the serpent seed doctrine. Sasa kuna fundisho la uzao wa nyoka. Says as I have. Kama ambavyo nimefanya. We, we start with the fact that there were two trees. Tunaanza na ukweli kwamba kulikuwa na miti miwili. In the midst of the garden. Katikati ya bustani. And the tree of life was Jesus. Na mti wa uzima ilikuwa ni Yesu. And the other tree is definitely Satan. Na mti mwingine bila shaka ni shetani. Because of what came forth kwa sababu of, the fruit ya, of the tree. Kwa sababu ya matunda yaliyo toka kwenye mti ule. Now then we know that both of those. Basi uh, ndio tunajua kwamba wawili wote hawa. Trees have a had a revelation to men or they would never have been placed there. They must have had a part in the sovereign plan. And the purpose of God in relationship to mankind. And himself or we could never impute omniscience unto God. This is all true so far, is it not? This 
This is all true so far. Na hii yote ni kweli hadi hapa. Is it not? Yes, hivyo. So brother Branham is saying there were two trees. Ndugu Branham anasema kulikuwa na miti miwili. In this garden that we are talking about. Kwenye bustani hii ambayo tunazungumzia. Where the men and the women are living in. Wakati mwanaume na mwanamke wanaishi pale. Now, uh, God says you can eat of all the trees. Sasa Mungu alisema kwamba unaweza kula kwenye miti yote. Let's 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 study the language of the Bible. Hebu tu isome kwanza lugha ya Biblia kwanza. He says all the trees of the garden have I given unto you for meat. Sema miti yote ya bustanini nimewapa iwe chakula chenu. So what does the word all mean? Hasa neno hilo yote inamaanisha nini? It means everything. Maana yake ni kila kitu. Is is that right? Sio sawa hiyo. So in terms of trees like this. Kwa hiyo hasa kwa habari ya miti kama hii. God gave them everything. Mungu aliwapa kila kitu. And then he says but lakini akasema lakini of that tree mti huo meaning this tree is different from these trees maana yake mti huo ni tofauti na hii miti because in terms of these ones i've given you all kwa sababu kwa habari ya hii mingine nimewapa yote but of the tree which is in the midst lakini huu mti ulioko katikati of the garden ya bustani thou shall not eat huo msile is that right kwake so sorry. they are told not to touch that. Kwa hiyo wakafundishwa wasiuguse. And if partakes of the tree. Na Hawa akala kutoka kwenye mti huo. And now a tree is named after the fruit. Na sasa mti unaitwa jina kutokana na tunda lake. Is that right? Hiyo ni sawa. If the fruit is a mango, kama tunda ni embe, the fruit becomes the name of the tree. Embe na ni jina tunda inageuka kuwa jina la mti. A tree becomes a mango tree. Kwa mti unaitwa mti wa embe. If the fruit is a banana, kama tunda ni ndizi, the tree cannot be called a mango tree. Huo mti hauwezi kuitwa mti wa embe. The children of the tree, watoto wa ule mti, are the name of the tree. Ndio jina la mti huo. Oh. I, I could preach a sermon there. Hapa najisikia kuhubiri somo hapo. Listen. Sikia. So he says there is a tree Wayo, kuna mti, which is called the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. Ambao unaitwa mti wa ujuzi wa mema na mabaya. Is that right? Yes sir. So the fruit Kwa mti is knowledge ni maarifa of good and evil. Ya kujua mema na mabaya. So the fruits are called knowledge fruits. Kwa hiyo yale matunda yanaitwa matunda ya maarifa. And the word knowledge na neno maarifa it means to know. Inamaanisha kujua. Is that right? Ye ni sawa. So when Eve partook of the fruit. Kwa hiyo hao walipotoa kwenye yale matunda. That means there was knowledge. Maana yake kulikuwa na maarifa fulani. Which is the same knowledge. Ambayo ndio maarifa yale yale. That the Bible comes and says and Adam knew. Ambayo Biblia inasikuja inasema na Adamu akamjua knew his wife akamjua mkewe and they bore a child nao wakapata mtoto which was Abel ambaye alikuwa habili and the serpent knew Eve na nyoka alimjua Hawa and Cain was produced na Cain akazaliwa that's why brother Branham is saying understanding the trees ndio maana nabii anasema kuelewa miti hii help us to understand the doctrine of the serpent seed itatusaidia kuelewa fundisho la uzao wa nyoka because the trees are sabu. not literal trees kwa sababu miti hii sio miti hii ya kawaida the trees are human beings ile miti ni uvi, ni watu ni, ni watu to show you that a tree is not a man kuonyesha kwamba mti is not a tree kuonyesha kwamba mti ule sio mti wa kawaida ni mtu Jesus says I am the vine Yesu anasema mimi ni mzabibu and you are the branches na ninyi ni matawi and any branch that doesn't bring forth fruit na tawi lolote lisoza matunda it shall be cut off litakatwa the bible says in the book of Isaiah Biblia anasema kwenye kitabu cha Isaya 55:11 It says and all the trees of the field shall clap their hands. Itapiga makothi. How can a tree clap hands? Mti unapigaje makothi? In the book of Psalms, kwenye Zaburi, chapter 1, sura ya kwanza. It says, nasema, blessed is a man. Heri mtu yule 
that walks in the counsel of God. And he does not sit in the seat of the seat of the scones. But his delight is in the law of God. He shall be like a tree. Atakuwa kama mti. Planted in the rivers of water. Many rivers, but one water. Blessed is a man. He is a tree. He shall be like a tree. This shows that man is a tree. Christ was the tree of life. And the devil was the other tree. Which is the tree of knowledge. Of is that right? Okay, good. So Brother Branham says, uh, Adam was a tree. Okay, I'll get to that quote. Adam alikuwa ni mti nitaifikia hii. Says in the message souls that are in prison right now. Anasema kwenye ujumbe wa nafsi zao kifungoni sasa. But remember all this time Noah was in the ark. Nakumbuka wakati wote huu Nuhu alikuwa safi nani? The bride is sealed with Christ. Bibi bibi harusi ametiwa muhuri pamoja na Kristo. Are you seeing that? Naiona hiyo. The last member has been redeemed. Yule mshirika wa mwisho ameshakombolewa. Okay. Maybe let me clarify that. Hebu ngoja labda nifafanue kidogo hivi. So the bride is sealed with Christ. Asa bibi harusi ametiwa muhuri pamoja na Kristo. The last member of the bride. Mshirika wa mwisho wa bibi harusi has been redeemed. Tayari ameshakombolewa. This is past tense. Hii ni ni wakati uliopita. The redemption of the bride is over. Ukombozi wa bibi harusi ulishaisha. Can you say amen? Naweza kusema amina. We are not in the time of redemption now. Hatuko katika wakati wa ukombozi sasa. We are in the time of the claiming of the redeemed subject. Tuko katika wakati wa kudai kitu kilichokombolewa. Redemption is done already there. Ukombole ukombozi ushafanyika tayari. Up there. Uli up up there up in heaven ushafanyika huko juu so when redemption is done kwa hiyo ukombozi baada kuisha then we get to revelation 10 tunaenda ufunuo 10 i saw another mighty angel nikaona malaika mwingine mwenye nguvu come down from heaven akishua toka mbinguni having a book that is open ana kitabu kilichofunguliwa it's not redemption time anymore sio wakati wa ukombozi huo brother branham says he leaves the mercy seat bwana anasema anatoka kwenye kiti cha rehema mercy is in the book are you hearing what I'm saying? Naelewa. Mercy is in the book. He is coming to claim the redeemed subjects. God is not going to redeem you today. Mungu hata kukomboa sasa. He has redeemed you already. Asha kukomboa. It's you that is going to realize. Ni wewe ndio utakayetambua. Today that I was redeemed already. Baba kumbe ishakombolewa. Is that right? Ndio. So it's the redemption is sealed. Kwa hiyo ukombozi umetiwa muhuri. Satan cannot do anything about Shetani it. Shetani anaweza hawezi kufanya chochote. Whatever you like Satan. Chochote ambacho Shetani angetaka kufanya. You can't do anything. Hauwezi Shetani kufanya chochote. He says the sixth seal. Anasema muhuri ya sita has produced itself. Imesha jizaa yenyewe. The seventh seal muhuri ya saba brings him back inamurudisha yeye to the earth duniani The seventh seal muhuri ya saba brings back Christ inamurudisha Kristo to the earth duniani Which earth dunia Not hii. this one Duni, sio dunia hii not this one. Sio huu dongo. Christ is not coming to Tanzania. Dunia haji Kristo haji Tanzania. This hii dunia. Is the earth. Hii ndio dunia. When the seal is open. Muhuri unapofunguliwa. Christ comes back. Kristo anarudi to the earth. Duniani. Mm 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 mm. mm, mm. The lamp came and took the book out of the right hand of him. Mwana kondoo alikuja akatwaa kitabu kutoka mkono wa kuume wake yeye and sat down na kakaa chini and claimed what he owned na kudai kila alicho miliki what he had redeemed kila ambacho tayari ameshakikomboa that's right 
Hiyo ni sawa. It's always been that third pool. Daima imekuwa ni huo mvuto wa tatu. So the third pool. Kwa hiyo mvuto wa tatu. Is a claiming pool. Ni mvuto wa kudai. It's a believer's pool. Ni mvuto wa muaminio. It's a seventh seal pool. Ni ni mvuto wa muhuri wa saba. It is the pool of Christ. Ni mvuto wa Kristo. Claiming kudai. Something that is redeemed already. Kitu ambacho kimekombolewa tayari. God is not going to heal you. Mungu hata kuponya wewe. He has already healed you. Asha kuponya tayari. God is not going to bless you. Mungu hata kubariki. He has already blessed you. Tayari amesha kubariki. This preaching huu mkutano is for you to awaken ni wewe uamke to realize utambue redemption is complete. Kwamba ukombozi umekwisha. It's claiming time. Ni wakati wa kudai. Oh 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 oh. Listen, listen. Hebu sikiliza, sikiliza, sikiliza. Claiming is not negotiating. Kudai when I'm claiming if I give pastor my bottle. Kudai kitu sio and I preach a little. Sio kuomba. And I preach a little. I don't say my help please have my bottle. I take my bottle. Ni ni kudai ni kama hivi. It's my bottle. Sio ngoja ngoja let me explain that. Alright. Kudai sio kufanya hivi kwamba hebu mchungaji nishikie chupa yangu hapa. Mm. Alafu nahubiri kidogo nahubiri kidogo baadaye nakuja nasema hebu nipe chupa yangu kidogo. Nasema naomba chupa yangu. Ah ah nasema nipe chupa yangu huku. Yes. Ndio kudai huko. Hallelujah. Amen. Satan. Satan. You have taken my help. Umechukua afya yangu. It's not your help. Sio afya yako. When I want the help. Nataka afya yangu. I, I don't say oh I need my my healing. Sisemi kwamba oh, yeah, naomba yeah, uponyaji yeah, yeah. wangu naomba hapana hapana. Give me my healing. Nipe uponyaji wangu. Give me my child. Nipe mtoto wangu. Give me my marriage. Nipe ndoa yangu. Adam. 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 Where are you? Uko wapi? Where are you Adam? Uko wapi Adam? Where are you Adam? Uko wapi? Rise up to your position. Hebu kaa kwa nafasi yako. Your inheritance. Die. It's claiming time. Ni wakati wa kudai. It's claiming time. Wakati wa kudai. It was Caleb. Kwa sababu Caleb he said to Joshua. Alimwambia Joshua. He says Joshua. Amesema Joshua. You were there. Wewe ulikuepo. When Moses said Hebron belongs to me. Musa aliposema kwamba mlima Hebron ni wangu. I want the place Hebron. Nataka huo mlima wa Hebron. And then Joshua said my, my brother. Joshua akamwambia ndugu yangu. You are 80 years old. Wewe una miaka 80. You are now an old man. Why don't you leave Hebron? Kwa nini usiache mlima wa Hebron? Take another place which is not difficult. Chukua sehemu nyingine ambayo ni rahisi kuchukua. He said, "Yes." Sema, "Eh, I'm not asking you." Mimi sio kuamba na kuomba. I am telling you. Nakwambia hivi. Give me my mountain. Nipe mlima wangu. Give me my mountain. Nipe mlima wangu. He says I feel as young as I was. Akasema najisikia kijana when I left Egypt. Kama nilivyokuwa wakati natoka Misri. What second place? Nini kitokea? A body change. Mwili ulikuwa umebadilika. Amen. There is a body change taking place. Kuna badiliko la mwili linaendelea sasa hizi. If you were feeling some pain kama ulikuwa unasikia maumivu when you entered here wakati unaingia hapa check again hebu jitikise tena if you are still feeling the pain jitikise kama unasikia because maumivu. there is a body change kwa sababu kuna badiliko there is a body change kuna badiliko la mwili yes sir ndio bwana sit a little sit a little hebu kaini kidogo 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 genesis 2 Mwanzo sura ya pili. It says and there was no man. Anasema na pakuepo na mtu. Maybe let's close on this. Labda tufungie kwenye hilo. There was no man. Hapakuepo na mtu to till the land. Wa kuilima ardhi. So we have got a spirit man. Sasa tuna mtu roho. But we've got an issue of the land. Here. Sasa kuna ishuhuli hapa ya ardhi. The land does not require a spirit man. Ardhi haihitaji mtu roho. It requires a physical man. Inahitaji mtu wa mwili. Deal with the issue of land. Ili ashughulike na ardhi. Is that right? Je, ni sawa? So God takes the man of Genesis 126. Sasa Mungu anamtu anamchukua mtu wa mwanzo 126. Which is the God man. Ambaye ni Mungu mtu. And he puts it in the man of Genesis 27. Alafu anamchukua anamweka ndani ya mtu wa mwanzo mbili. Which is Tan. the flesh man. Mbili saba ambaye ni wa, wa, wa nyama na damu. 
And Brother Branham says the Bible opens with the seventh seal. Ndu Branham anasema kwamba Biblia inafunguliwa na muri wa saba. Because the seventh seal brings him back to the earth. Kwa sababu muri wa saba unamurudisha yeye duniani. God is bringing Adam Mungu kwenye ardhi. Okay. So God is bringing the Adam the spirit man. Kwa hiyo Mungu anamchukua Adam mtu roho. Which is the God man? Ambaye ndiye Mungu Mungu mtu into the earth. Anamuingiza sasa kwenye inchi which, which is the man that is made out of the dust of the earth. Ambaye ni mtu aliyetengenezwa kutoka kwenye mavumbi ya ardhi. That's the seventh seal. Hiyo ni muhuri wa saba. And he says and man became a living soul. Anasema mtu akawa nafsi hai. In other words a man who Christ has not come into Kwa hiyo kwa maneno mengine mtu ambaye Kristo hajaingia ndani yake. He's a living soul. Yes, sio nafsi hai. That's why brother Branham preached the message souls that are in prison Yo, right mana, now. Yohana nabii akahubiri ujumbe nafsi zilizoko kifungoni hivi sasa. He is showing that there is people that we are walking past. Anaonyesha kwamba kuna watu tunapishana nao. But they are dead while they are living. Lakini wa, ni wafu wanaotembea. Ah, 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 ah. He says I was I was in that uh, JC Penny store. Anasema nilikuwa nimeenda kwenye duka moja huko jana. Says yes. I was going up the escalator. Wakati nimepanda kwenye lift. And two women were coming down the escalator. Na wanawake wawili walikuwa nashuka kwenye lift. Says they were speaking a certain language uh, it sounded like Russian. Anasema alikuwa anaongea kiluga kama warusi fulani. He says when I looked at them. Sema nilivyowatazama. I had goosebumps. Ah, anasema kulikuwa kama na viperepere vya baridi sawa. He says I was I was I was scared that I'm back in hell again. Niliogopa nikaona kana kwamba nimerudi tena kuzimu. He says I saw the same people. Anasema niliona watu wale wale. That 40 years ago. Ambao miaka 40 iliyopita. When I went to hell I saw them there. Nilipoenda kuzimu niliwaona kule. He says they were on earth. Sema walikuwa wako duniani. 40 years later living. Miaka 40 baadaye. But their representation. Lakini uwakilishi wao. Is already in hell. Tayari huko kuzimu kule. That is why. Hiyo ndio sababu. Part of the third pool. Sehemu ya mvuto wa tatu. Is preaching to the total lost. Ni kuhubiria nafsi zilizopotea kabisa. Because we have souls that are in prison. Kwa sababu tuna right now. Nafsi zilizoko kifungoni hivi sasa. Now he was laying there. Sasa alikuwa amekaa, amelala pale. I can have many pictures of it. Naweza nikaonyesha picha nyingi za I can see Adam standing. Naweza nikamwona Adam amesimama. Let's take it this way. Hebu tulichukue namna hii. See him standing. Namuona amesimama like a tree. Kama mti. Man is a what? Mtu, a tree. mtu ni nini? So ni this mti. is the man of Genesis 2:7. Sasa huyu ni your mtu flesh, wa mwanzo mbili shtaba. Your flesh is not different from that tree. Mwili wako wewe si tofauti na ule mti pale nje. Your hands are the branches. Mikono yako ndiyo matawi. Your body is the stem. Huu mti wako ndiyo mwili wako ndiyo shina. Your feet they branch out like the roots. Vidole vyako ndiyo mizizi. Vya, vidole vya miguu ndiyo mizizi. You are a tree. Wewe ni mti. God had made him what he was he was dead as he could be. Mungu alimfanya alikuwa yeye kafa kama kifo kinavyoweza kuwa. His toes like the roots. Vidole vyake vya miguu kama mizizi. Sticking out the ground. Vime ninginia kwenye kwenye ardhi pale. And God said let there be. Na Mungu akasema na iwe. Or, or breathe the breath of life into him. Nabla akapuliza pumzi ya uhai. And he came to himself. Naye akajitambua sasa. Breathe the breath of life to him. Kapuliza pumzi ya uhai. He became a living soul. Akawa nafsi hai. Who came to who? Nani alimjia nani? He came to himself. Ni yeye alijijia mwenyewe. The boy in the mirror who did he come to? Yule kijana wa kwenye kioo alimjia nani? He came to himself. Alijijia yeye mwenyewe. The prodigal son who did he come to? Yule mwana mpotevu alimjia nani? The Bible says and when he came to himself. Na Biblia inasema na alipojijia no mwenyewe. One is coming for you. Hakuna anayokujia. You are supposed to come for you. Wewe unatakiwa ujijie mwenyewe. Many times they didn't come for me. They didn't come for me. I was in trouble. Hawakunirudia, hawakunijia wakati niko kwenye matatizo, hawakuja. You 
wewe are supposed to come for you unataka unata, unapaswa ujijie mwenyewe the bible says Biblia inasema once the lord has spoken kila ambacho bwana amenena but twice have i heard this lakini mara mbili ndio limelisikia hili how come inakuwaje god speaks once mungu anaongea mara moja you hear it twice alafu unaingia unasikia mara mbili how come you are hearing twice yawezekanaje usikie mara mbili when the thing has been spoken once wakati kitu kimenenwa mara moja your first hearing yeye kusikia kwao kwa kwanza is not in this flesh sio katika mwili huu the first thing that he is the word kitu ya kwanza kinachosikia neno is in the theophany ni kwenye theophania and you hear alafu wewe hapa from your theophany Kuto, wewe unasikia kutoka kwenye theophania brother branham says the seals are revealed na bia nasema miwili imefunguliwa melchizedek is here melchizedek yuko hapa we have heard tumesikia from our theophany kutoka kwenye theophania zetu the one that came to tinashe aliyemjia tinashe was tinashe alikuwa ni tinashe mwenyewe paul says paul anasema we see in a glass darkly tunaona katika We see in a glass in a dark glass. Tunaona katika kioo chenye kisa. In other words we don't see properly. Kwa maneno mengine hatuone vizuri. He says but then. Lakini wakati huo. We shall see face to face. Tutaona uso kwa uso. We shall know. Tutajua. As we were known. Kama tulivyokuwa tunajua. It is us. Ni sisi. Coming to us. Tunajijia wenyewe sisi. The Bible sisi. says. Biblia inasema. The family in heaven familia mbinguni and the family on earth na familia duniani is named after him inaemeitwa kwa jina lake nani christ kristo the family in heaven is called what familia mbinguni inaitwa nani christ kristo the family on earth is called what familia duniani inaitwaje christ kristo what you are looking for unachokitafuta you are not going to find it anywhere hutakipata popote it's already with you tayari kiko na wewe <laughs> Are you hearing me? Nanisikia. Brother Bram says at the end of the day you are going to realize the whole thing. Nabii anasema moja ya siku utagundua kwamba was God. Kitu chote ilikuwa ni Mungu. The scripture says when we shall behold him. Biblia inasema kwamba tutakapomtazama we shall be like him. Tutakuwa kama yeye. If you read the Bible and you come out with another person that is not you na ukaona ukajipata umepata mtu mwingine ambaye sio yeye sio wewe something is wrong kuna kasoro when brother branham was reading this bible wakati ndugu yana anasoma biblia hii that's why we can say brother branham the man who was named branham was moses alikuwa musa brother branham du branham was joseph alikuwa yusuf brother branham du branham was zerubabel alikuwa zerubabel brother branham Dubranam. was Elijah alikuwa Elia Brother Branham Dubranam. was Micaiah alikuwa Micaiah Brother Branham was Joshua Dubranam alikuwa Brother Joshua. Branham The reason why we see that sababu ya kuona hivyo is because every scripture he read ni kwa sababu kila andiko huu he saw himself alijiona yeye you also wewe pia are supposed to see yourself unapaswa ujione mwenyewe I am also Joshua. Mimi pia ni Joshua. I am also Moses. Mimi pia ni Musa. I am also uh, uh, the amens are weak. They are Naona weak. Naona Amina yes. zimeisha waelewi hawa. So if you, if you are not Moses who are you? Sasa kama wewe sio Musa wewe ni nani? If you are not Joshua, if you are not kama wewe sio Joshua wewe ni nani? Okay, hey, okay ngoja sasa. I feel like speaking in tongues. Listen. Ngoja najisikia kunena kwa lugha. Here is a sister here. Kuna dada yuko hapa. Standing here in, in time. Amesimama hapa kwa katika wakati. She is not wakati. back then in the days of the Bible. Hayuko kwenye siku za Biblia. She looks at the Bible. Ana, anaangalia Biblia. She realizes the Bible is a shadow. Anatambua kwamba Biblia ni kivuli. A shadow is not the real thing. Kivuli sio kitu halisi. The real thing is me. Kitu halisi ni mimi. She read the story of of, of the Shunammite woman. Alisoma habari za mwanamke mshunaa. But, but she is anti Jemima. Aka, aka, a, ye, 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 ye mwenyewe jina lake alikuwa Aunt Jemima. When she read the Shunammite woman she realized this is the Alisoma habari za mshunami huko. The real Aunt Shunammite woman is me. Akasema a a yule a, mshunami halisi ndio mimi. So she went on that part of the scripture. Sasa akaenda kwenye sehemu hiyo ya maandiko. And she was standing there. Akasimama hapo. And she said I am akasema mimi not to say i believe i am no 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 sio kusema naamini ni mimi i, I am actually mimi ndio mshunami she was 
She, she was not good in English. She was not good in English. You may not be good in English. It doesn't matter. Haijalishi. She said, I is. Alisema, mimi ni. Shunamite woman. Mwanamke mshuna. Done. Sire. Done, 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 done. But when she looked at the picture, she realized there cannot be a Shunammite woman without Elijah. She said, God, this part is not my part. I have identified my part. My part is I am a Shunammite woman. Where is the Elijah? And God was obligated to ground an aeroplane. God Lakini. had to ground an aeroplane Mungu because somebody Kwa fulani. identified themselves in the Bible. Hey, 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 hey. Who are you Wewe ni nani? in the Bible? Kwenye I am the end time Daniel. Mimi ni Daniel wa mwisho. Brother Branham says end time Daniels. Where are you? Mko wapi? You can say I'm Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego. I am going through fire right now. kwenye moto sasa. You can say I am the Shunammite woman. Unaweza kusema mimi mwanamke mshunami. Where is the Elijah? Elia yuko wapi? The plane was grounded. Ndege ilishushwa. And Brother Branham made some pep, some some letters to post. Do Branham alikuwa na barua za kupeleka posta. And he was going to post the papers. Wakati anaenda kupeleka barua posta. The angel of the Lord came down. Malaika wa Bwana akashuka. He said Elijah. Nasema Elia. Keep walking Elijah. Endelea kutembea Elia. Keep walking Elijah. Endelea kutembea Elia. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Elijah wanted to stop. Elia akaenda. And God said turn left. Akataka kusimama. Mungu akamwambia keep walking Elijah. Walk Elijah walk. Brother Brandon said, Where am I going? God says, Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep walking Elijah. Keep walking Elijah. I could have been in South Africa. But I'm not Elijah, I'm Elisha. The fivefold ministry is the Elisha ministry. They take from Elijah. I could have been in South Africa. But God said, walk Elisha, walk. Walk until you get to Kipawa. Walk until you get to Life Tabernacle. Walk until you get to Life Tabernacle. When you get there, there is a woman of the stature of Auntie Jemima. Kuna mwanamke anaitwa Aunt Jemima. Who is believing on the promise? Anaamini ahadi. She had taken off her her, her, her shirt. Alikuwa amechukua shati. And put it on the on the waist. Amejifunga kiunoni. Waiting on the gate. Anasubiri kwenye lango. For Elijah to arrive. Anasema Elia lazima And when Elijah was walking. Elia wakati anatembea. He kept walking. Akaendelea kutembea. And the sister said. Dada akasema. Good morning person. And Brother Branham says, hey, Branham says hey, how do you know I'm a person? And the woman says, I'm not guessing. To show you that I'm not guessing. Where is your briefcase? Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Who is this man? Who is this man that knows what's happening in your life? Who is this man who knows what's happening in your marriage? Who knows you are fighting with your husband? Maybe today before you came to church you were even fighting anything small there's a fight. Who is this Elijah? That knows what's happening. Where is your briefcase person? Brother Branham says the same presence. That I feel when the angel comes. I felt it standing in the presence of that woman. Are you hearing me? Naskia. We are back in those days. Hallelujah. Amen. We are back in those days. We are back in the days of angels. Do you believe that? 
Naamini. We are back in the days of angels. Tuko kwenye siku za malaika. Theophany is all around us. Mathiophania yametuzunguka. We are back in Eden again. Tunarudi kwenye We are back in Eden again. Tumerudi Edeni pena. Adam Adam. Ebu Adam. Where are you? Adam Adam uko wapi? We are standing in the presence of a man. Tumehitaji tumekaa uweponi mwa mwanaume. We are standing in the presence of God. Tumehitaji tumesimama uweponi mwa mwa Mungu. All things are possible. Ambapo yote yanawezekana. There was a sister kulikuwa na dada coming from South Africa going to Zimbabwe. Anatoka Afrika Kusini anaenda Zimbabwe. While she was at the border. Wakati yuko mpakani, she wanted to clear one of her goods. Alitaka kununua and the people said the receipt here. They, he wanted to that is she wanted to, you know customs to clear uh, ah. let's say maybe you have a laptop. Eh alitaka uh, wakague bidhaa alizokuwa nazo wa, wafanye ukaguzi wapitishe. And she gave them the receipt. Akawapa receipt. And they said this receipt. Wakaambia hii receipt. The price on this receipt. Gharama yoko kwenye receipt. Is not the value of the laptop. Sio thamani ya hii laptop. The sister had no money. Dada alikuwa hana hela. They said you better get the correct receipt. Akamwambia bora utafute receipt sahihi. And pay duty on this. Ulipe kodi kwa ajili ya hii laptop. She went out with the receipt. Akatoka na receipt. She called her son in Harare. Akampigia mwanaye Harare. Please I am stuck at the border. Sema tafadhali mwanangu nimekwama mpakani hapa. Send me the money the officials would not allow me to cross. Nitumie hela hawa jamaa maafisa wataniruhusu kuvuka mpaka. The son said I will make a plan in the morning. Mwana akamwambia nitakufanyia mpango asubuhi kesho. Right now I don't have money. Sasa hizi sina hela. And na the sister said there. Dada akasema and she wondered I'm going to wait until the morning. Asimama sasa nitasubiri mpaka kesho. And the bus left. Na basi ikamwacha. Now she has got goods. That's an abidha hapa. She hapa. doesn't have money to declare them. Hela hana za kusawazisha she kule. She doesn't have transport to go to Harare. Na nauli ya kwenda Harare hana. About 500 kilometers. Kama kilomita 500 kutoka pale. And while she's sitting there, wakati amekaa pale, she did as if she fell into a trance. Akachukia kama vile ameingia kwenye hali <coughs> fulani ya, ya kama <coughs> usingizi fulani. Then she saw Pastor Jova akamona mchungaji Jola who was a pastor ambaye alikuwa ni mchungaji pastor Moses mchungaji Musa and pastor Moses came there mchungaji Musa akaja pale and said sister arasema dada what are you doing here unafanya nini hapa she explained this is what happened pastor sema haya ndio alionipata mchungaji and the pastor said i have opened the border for you mchungaji akamwambia nimekufungulia mpaka you can cross Vuka. She said, pastor they've got my laptops in there. Sema mchungaji laptop yangu iko kule wameikamata. And then the pastor said, mchungaji akasema, go and get your laptop and cross. Nenda kachukue laptop yako uvuke. So the sister went in. Dada kaingia. And then the same gentleman, na jamaa yule yule, said, yes, how can I help you? Sema eh hey, nikusaidieje? He said I'm that one that you said the receipt the price is not Yeah, the same thing mimi ndio yule ambaye unisema kwamba gharama iliyoko kwenye receipt sio ya thamani ya hii laptop with the laptop e sio sawa na laptop and then the, 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 the says okay can i see the receipt now asema hebu nionyeshe receipt tena she took the same receipt akachukua receipt ile ile and she gave him akampa and he looked at the receipt akaangalia receipt and he said now we are talking asema sasa tunaongea hapo sasa hayo ndio mambo sasa Let me tell you. Let me tell you. Hebu ngoja nikwambie. We have always been talking. Daima tumekuwa tunaongea wake. The devil doesn't know we have always been talking. Na ibilisa amekuwa ajui tumekuwa tunaongea wake. She was given a laptop. Akapewa laptop. She went she sat in a bus. Akaenda akakaa kwenye basi. No money. Hana nauli. Pastor said I've opened the border for you. Mchungaji alisema nimekufungulia. You can go home. Nenda nyumbani. She is sitting in the bus. Akakaa kwenye basi. She's waiting for the conductors to come. Anasubiri wale conductor waje. So that she can tell them I don't have money. Ili awambie hana nauli. Maybe Narara will talk to my son. Labda kule mjini akifika atamwambia mtoto. Conductor never came. Konda hakutokea. Until she dropped down at the Baka destination. Baka akashuka. When she dropped down at the destination. Aliposhuka. There are those people that offload the 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 the, the package. Na wale watu wanaopokea mizigo wanashusha mizigo. Now those people they look at your ticket. 
Wale watu wanaangalia tiketi and see if the name on your luggage matches with the wanalinganisha jina la mzigo na jina liloko kwenye risiti and when it came to the name of the sister ilipofika kwenye jina la dada they got a hold of the package wakanyanyua ule mzigo and they said who is makina here akasema makita ni nani hapa is makina makina ni nani and she said it's me akasema mimi and then they picked the package wakanyanyua mzigo they said yes your package sema mzigo wako go 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 take a thing and go nenda mzigo wako ondoka Who came to the border? Nani huyu aliyekuja kwenye It was the angel. Ilikuwa ni malaika. That just took the form of a pastor. Amekuja kwa umbo la mchungaji. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Naelewa. They in a place called Chiazwa where they are doing diamonds. Kuna sehemu huko inaitwa Chiazwa. Chiazwa. Chiazwa huko wanatengeneza almasi. Now they were the, the, the diamonds had just been discovered in Zimbabwe. Walikuwa ndio wamegundua almasi wakati huo. So a number of brothers had gone there. Kwa ndugu wengi walikuwa wameenda kule. And one of uh, another pastor's young brother had also gone there. Na kulikuwa na mdogo wake mchungaji pia naye alikuwa ameenda huko. So one by one the other brothers are coming back. Asa wa moja baada mwingine wale ndugu wakawa narudi. But that young brother was held up that place. Sasa yule mdogo wake mchungaji akawa amekamatwa kule. So the pastor got a, a bit worried. Akawa amecho ame. He got a bit worried. Akawa ameogopa, amehuzunika sasa. So there was nobody there. Hapa kwepo na mtu pale. To help. Kuwakusaidia. To help him in that place. Wakusaidia mahali pale. All right. So now kwa hiyo he had been taken by the police akawa amekamatwa na polisi because the place that he had entered in kwa sababu mahali ambapo alikuwa ameingia sehemu alikoingia he didn't know that place was allocated to the uh, vice president hakujua kwamba sehemu alikoingia ni sehemu anatakiwa aingiwe tu aingie tu makamu wa rais so it was now a matter of state security sasa ikawa ni issue ya ulinzi na usalama wa taifa so he was taken and he was put in in uh, in the office of the of the police the, kwa hiyo akakamatwa akaingizwa kwenye akawekwa akaingiz eh? like like a, a custody akaingizwa akaingizwa kwenye ofisi ya polisi now for days kwa siku kadhaa and uh, nobody is coming na hakuna anayejitokeza kumtoa so one day saa siku moja eh, a man came mtu mmoja akaja and introduced himself as medicine said akajitambulisha kama medicine 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 said medicine said and uh, medicine said is his brother who is the pastor eh, medicine said ni ni kaka yake ambaye ndio mchungaji mwenyewe so he says uh, they ask him who are you wakamuliza wewe ni nani he says i'm medicine said asema mimi ni medicine said so they say where are you from wakamuliza unatoka wapi he says i'm from the office of the president akasema natoka kwenye ofisi ya rais He says who are you here for? Akasema umekuja hapa unafata nini? And then he spoke about uh, his young brother's name. Ndio akanena habari za yule mdogo wake niko. And they pa. said uh, okay. Wakasema basi sasa uh, there is some money you need to pay. Kuna pesa unatakiwa ulipe. Made the calls. Akapiga wakapiga simu. And they verified. Wakathibitisha. And they realized yes. Wakagundua ni kweli ni sahihi. So he signed. Kwa akasaini pale. And then he said okay fine. Wasema vema sasa. I'm going to be out there in my car. Nitakuwa kwenye gari langu pale nje. Waiting for my young brother. Nikimsubiri huyo mdogo wangu. So he steps out. Kwa akatoka nje. Gets in the car. Akaingia kwenye gari. The police goes to the back. Polisi akaingia kule ndani. Take your clothes. Kamwambia vaa nguo zako. Eh uh, you have been your bail has been paid. Ah uh, garam zamana yako ishalipwa. Who paid it? Nani alilipa? Medicine said. Medicine said. Wonderful. Avema. So he comes out. Akatoka. This is about 500 kilometers more than that actually. Ni zaidi ya kilomita 500 kilometers away from each other. Wako yani umbali wa kilomita zaidi ya 500. So he goes out. Akatoka. He looks he doesn't see the car. Akaangalia aoni gari. He goes back. Akarudi. He says uh, I don't see my brother out there. I say my eyes. Bona si was there pitch. now now. Sema alikuepo hapo hapo sasa. If you run outside I don't think he's even by the corner of the police station. Sema kama utakimbia ukaenda mbali sidhani kama ameenda mbali kutoka hapo na. He runs office. outside. Akaenda. He sees nothing. Anaona hakuna kitu. He takes his call. Akachukua simu yake. He calls his brother. 
akampigia ndugu yake. He says, "Mate, sema labda what have you done?" Akamwambia, "Kaka, sasa umefanya kitu gani?" I can see you. Sikuoni hapa. He says, "What do you mean you can see me?" Sema maanisha nini kwamba unioni uko wapi? He says, "I'm in Chiazwa. Where are you?" Sema mimi niko Chiazwa, wewe uko wapi? Says I'm in Gweru. Sema mimi niko Gweru. He says, "No, man, you were here. You paid for my Says no I'm not there I'm, I'm right we now we I'm in Gweru I can't even hapo umetoka kunilipia dhamana mimi nasubiri Who paid for the brother Nani alimlipia huyo ndugu Do you believe these things Mnaamini haya mambo Those are the days we are living in Hizi ndio siku tunayoishi I preached a message like this Niubiri ujumbe kama huu And I gave testimonies like this Nikatoa shahuda kama hizi A brother in our church and Asha ndugu kanisani kwetu ambaye ni mbawabu called brother shadrek reza anaitwa shadrek shadrek now brother shadrek sasa ndugu shadrek calls me in, a, in the evening alinipigia jioni says pastor i'm not i'm not well sema mchungaji mimi siko vizuri i said brother shadrek you have never called me saying you are not well nikamwambia ndugu shadrek uje hai kunipigia sema anambia uko vizuri excruciating pain asema nini shida akasema ni maumivu ya siwa kawaida I said I'll pray for you. Kasema nitakuombea. So I prayed. Nikaomba. In the morning, asubuhi. He sends me another message. Akantumia ujumbe mwingine. He says I'm in pain. Sema ni maumivu makali sana. And I have to go to the doctor. Na inabidi niende kwa daktari. I said okay fine. We've prayed. Nikasema vema za sawa tumeomba. If you need to go to the doctor. Kama unataka kwenda kwa daktari. You can go. Nenda. So he tries to call me. Akajaribu kunipigia. And I was about to get into a, a, an office. Nilikuwa na karibu na karibia kuingia ofisi fulani. So I send him a message. Nikamtumia message. I said brother Reza. Kaambia ndugu Reza. Shadrack. Shadrack. Call him Shadrack. Yeah. I said I can't talk to you now. Siwezi kuongea na wewe sasa hivi. I will talk to you when I am done. Nitaongea na wewe baada ya kumaliza. But please tell me whatever the doctor say. Lakini utaniambia kila ambacho daktari amesema. Whatever they say Please send it. Chochote watakachosema niambie. Now brother Reza. Sa ndugu Reza. Come here brother. Come come stand next yeah. to me. You're a tired. Okay. So brother Reza. Sa ndugu Reza. Goes to the to the doctor. Akaenda kwa daktari. When he gets to the doctor. Aipoenda kwa daktari. They, they they talk with the wife. Wakaanza kuongea na Should we go to this doctor? Twende kwa daktari huyu. Oh this doctor. Au huyu. The wife says let's go to this one. Mka akasema twende kwa yule. He wanted to go to a different one. Aitaka kwenda kwa mwingine. Eventually they go where the wife wants. Wakaenda mwisho wakaenda kwa mka alikoelekea. As he arrives there. Walipofika pale. The doctor said, "Can we see your card?" Daktari akasema, "Hebu mnaweza kuona kadi yako." And they said, "Oh, you have been helped here." He says, "Yes." Eh, eh umekuwa katika hali hii. Eh, ndio, ndio. Typing his name. Waka type jina lake. This laki. card is an old card. Sema hii kadi ya zamani kana. But well your name is in the system. Lakini vema jina lako liko kwenye mfumo. Congratulations your name is in the system. Ah ni ongera jina lako lipo. Okay. Vema. How much is consultation? Asa gharama za ushauri. So they say 450 rand. Umeona daktari ni kiasi gani? Wakasema ni rand 450. So he says okay I do, uh, kama... the wife gives him 450. 500 rand. Kama 550 hivi akampa akalipa hizo hela. And he is about to give to the person on the on the till. Eh wakati anakaribia kumpa yule jamaa anayepokea pesa. They say no you don't have to pay. Wakasema hauna haja ya kulipa. It has been paid for. Ishalipa hii hela. He says ah by who? Akasema nani kalipa? He says no there is some gentleman that came and paid for you. Sema kuna jamaa mmoja akaja akakulipia hela hapo. He says but nobody knows that I'm coming here. Lakini hakuna anayejua kwamba mimi nakuja hapo. Who paid for me? Nani amenilipia? They said it was a white man and an African man. Kuna jamaa mmoja kama mweupe tu hivi lakini mwa Afrika tu ni. That that paid for for uh, your, 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 your consultation. Amekulipia gharama za kumwona daktari hapa. So he said, "Okay, I will show you the, the, the African men that I associate with." Na basi ngoja nikuonyeshe hapa. Kuna watu au watu weusi nao ushirikiana nao. Ngoja nina picha zao. So that you tell me which one paid. Ngoja labda nikuonyeshe ni yupi ambayo limuona amekuja hapa. So he showed him picture of one of our trustees. Akaonyesha picha ya mmoja hapo wa dhamini. They said no it's not that one. Asema sio huyo. Showed him another deacon. Kamaonyesha Shemasi. Said no it's not Asema, that one. Asema huyo. They showed him another pastor that he had taken a picture wakamwonyesha mchungaji mwingine walipiga naye picha kwenye mkutano they said no don't worry yourself they've already paid nasema usijihangaishe bwana si ushalipiwa and then he said wait wait i'll show you the last picture nasema ngoja niwaonyeshe labda picha ya mwisho so he goes on the picture of the of, of our another trustee 
who is standing with me. Aka onyesha picha ya mdhamini mwingine ambaye alikuwa amepiga picha na mimi. So in the picture we are the two of us. Sasa kwenye picha tulikuwa wawili. And then they pointed at me. Sasa wale wakaonyesha kidole kwangu. Say, yeah, this is the African. Ah, sema huyu ndio Mwafrika yule aliyekulipia. This, this is the one that paid. Huyu hapo ndio alikulipia huyu. And then they said, okay, all right. Asema vema. Now I will show you the pictures of the white people. Ngoja niwaonyeshe, nikuonyeshe labda picha za watu weupe that I associate with. Ambao nashirikiana nao. He starts showing them people that he works with. Akaonyesha watu wanaofanya nao kazi. And they say he said, "Ah, no, no." Asema hapana no, no. sio hao. Don't go there it's not all these people. Sio hao, hamna. That one is an elderly man. Yule ni kama ni mtu mzima. He's like an old man. Kama mtu mzima. With a bald head. Ana kipara. He took the picture of the pillar of fire. Akachukua picha ya nguzo ya moto with brother branham in it ambaye na ndugu branham and he said yeah nasema ah ndio is the other man huyo ndio mtu mwingine yule and the brother said na ndugu akasema which one of the two of them paid ah kumbe walikuja wawili kwenye kulipa sasa akamuliza you have too many questions wewe kati yao wawili sasa nani alilipa wakamuliza ambao una maswali mengi wewe unauliza maswali mengi ya nini when the brother was telling me this testimony wakati ndugu ananieleza huo ushuhuda i was like nasema mm ndugu huyo na hope this brother is not lying na hisi ndugu asijakawa nadanganya when he mentioned his wife was there aliposema mke wake alikuwepo then i asked him are you with your wife nikamwambia uko na mke wako and he says no right now she's at work nasema sasa hizi yuko kazini you can call her if you want wewe mpigie kama unataka immediately mara moja i called the wife nikampigia mke wake i said I, before they talk to one another and lie kabla wajapangana kwanza ngoja nimwahi wewe mke wake nipate ushuhuda and the sister was explaining dada akaanza kufafanua the same thing the brother was explaining kitu kile kile ambacho ndugu alikuwa anafafanua and the sister said na dada akasema when 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 my husband asked wakati mme wangu alipouliza who paid nani alilipa they said the african men wakasema yule mwafrika ndiye alilipa took out money and paid aitoa hela akalipa and the white men lakini yule mzungu was watching the alikuwa anaangalia yule mwafrika anavyolipa anatikisa kichwa chake hallelujah Hallelujah. Amen. They under their prophets. Wao chini ya nabii wao. Under their brother Branham. Chini ya mburana ndugu Branham. Shall be the final voice. Watakuwa sauti ya mwisho. To the final age. Kwa kizazi cha mwisho. The African men. Yule mtu wa Afrika. Is here. Yuko hapa. The African men. Mtu wa Afrika. Are here. Wako hapa. To say what the prophet say. Sema kile nabii anachosema. Hallelujah. Amen. And here was the climax of the testimony. Na hebu sikiliza kile kilele cha ushuhuda. The nurse said. Yule the nurse. The nurse. Yule the, nurse. the one who was helping them. Nurse akasema. She said. Asema. The African man said. Yule Mwafrika alisema. When you have seen the doctor. Baada ya kumuona daktari. You should tell him Lazima umwambie what the doctor has said. Kila ambacho daktari amesema. Alafu mke akaanza kulia. Because kulia. that is the message. Kwa sababu huo ndio ujumbe. That I sent this brother in the morning. Ambao nimtumia yule ndugu asubuhi kwenye I simu. Talk to you, Nikamwambia siwezi kuongea na wewe. But the doctor tells you. Lakini chochote daktari atakachokuambia. You tell it to me later. Niambie baadaye. Let me tell you there is a God. Hebu niwaambie kuna Mungu. That knows you need to see a doctor. Ambaye anajua unatakiwa uoneane na daktari. There is a God. Kuna Mungu. Who can pay your consultation? Ambaye anaweza kukulipia gharama za hospitali. There is a God. Kuna Mungu. Who can pay all your debts? Anaweza kukulipia madeni. I don't care what it is, brother. Sijali ni nini ndugu. We are living in the realm of angels. Tunaishi katika siku za malaika. We are living in the realm of angels. Tunaishi katika siku za malaika. I can be here. Naweza nikawa hapa and at your house at the same time. Alafu nyumbani kwako kwa wakati mmoja. You can be here. Unaweza ukawa hapa and be in another place at the same time. Na uko sehemu nyingine wakati huo. Can I give you one more testimony? Hebu nitoe ushuhuda mmoja. One last testimony. Mmoja wa mwisho. There is another brother. Kuna ndugu mwingine. Who was who was a policeman? Alikuwa ni askari polisi. 
but he was not very intelligent. Lakini alikuwa ayuko vizuri sio mwenye akili nyingi. Now they came a time they wanted to promote the police. Sasa ikafika wakati wanataka kupandisha vyeo wa askari polisi. So this brother so ndugu was called to say you are part of the people that want to be promoted. Akaitwa akaambiwa wewe ni mmoja wapo wa watu ambao wanatakiwa wapandishwe vyeo. But you must write an exam first. Lakini natakiwa ufanye mtihani kwanza. So that brother sasa yule ndugu went in there akaingia mle. He said the question was saying one thing. Asema swali lilikuwa linaulizwa hivi. And what I was answering is another thing. Na mimi niliyokuwa nayajibu ni vitu vingine kabisa. He says I knew I had failed. Mimi na na hakika kabisa nimefaili mtihani. And he went home. Akaenda nyumbani. Disappointed knowing that I failed. Amevunjika moyo anajua amevunjika. And when he was asleep. Wakati amelala. They came a man in his dreams. Akaja mtu katika ndoto. In the dream. Yeah. Kwenye ndoto. And while he sleeping that man said. Wakati amelala yule mtu akasema. You come here. Hebu wewe njoo hapa. And he says follow me. Nifuate. He dreams he's at work. Yeye anaota ndoto kwamba yuko kazi. So that kazi. man he says follow me. Jamaa kamwambia nifuate. And they go into the office. Wakaingia ofisini. And he starts going through the papers. Akaanza kupitia karatasi. And he pulls out the paper of the brother. Akachomoa karatasi ya ndugu. And he says look at this. Akamwambia angalia hiki. What nonsense is this? Upuzi gani wewe umejaza? You were writing things that Nikuwa doesn't have. Unaandika, unaandika, unaandika yani. What's wrong with your head? Kichwa chako kikoje wewe? And that man tilted the papers. Yeye jamaa kachana chana zile karatasi. And he gave him another answer sheet. Akampa eh, karatasi nyingine ajaze. He says here. Kambia hapa. Write this. Andika hili. Here. Hapa. Write this. Andika hili. Here. Hapa. Write this. Here. Here. Andika. Write this. Andika hapa. And he took the paper. Akachukua ile karatasi. And he put it back. Akairudisha kwenye faili. In the dream. Kwenye ndoto. And the following week. Juma lilofuata. They were called. Wakaitwa. Okay, now you brother you are part of those people sasa, that have that have made it now to the second interview. Wewe ndugu ndugu sasa ndio mmoja wa wale ambao wamefaulu kufanya usairi namba 2. He knew it was that man. Alijua ni yule jamaa. In the dream. Kwenye ile ndoto. Are you hearing me? Unasikia? He went to the second interview. Akaenda kwenye usairi wa pili. Now the second interview was not a, a writing interview. Sasa usairi wa pili haukuwa wa kujaza kwenye karatasi. It was a live interview. Ilikuwa ni usairi wa uso kwa uso. Men with badges from the police. Wanaume wananyota kwenye mabega za polisi. Sitting in front of him. Wamesimama mbele yake. Asking questions. Wanauliza maswali. And he was being asked. Na wakati anauliza. He answers like this. Anajibu pumba. He asks this question. Akiulizwa hivi, he answers like this. Anajibu pumba tu. And then interview was over. Na usairi ukaisha. He knew this time. Akajua safari hii. There's no way. Siponi. I yani. have made it. Hapa nsha. He simba. went to sleep again. Akaenda kula. And that man came back again. Jamaa karudi. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That man came back again. Jamaa yule akarudi. And he says you. Asema wewe. What's wrong with you? Wewe una matatizo gani? Hallelujah. May that man come in your life. Hebu jamaa huyo nao akutembelee maishani. May that man come in your life. Jamaa huyo akutembelee. To say you. Atakwambia wewe. What's wrong with you? Una matatizo gani? Hallelujah. Amen. He says come here. Asema njoo hapa. Sit again. Hebu kaa hapa. He walks into the office. Akaingia ofisini. In the dream akajikuta yuko ofisini the panel is sitting there na akakuta jopo la maafisa amesema kwa sababu apologize to these chefs Asema, eh? these bosses you must say sorry to the bosses e, akamwambia hebu waambie waombe msamaha maafisa wa mabosi wako hapo bosses i'm sorry sema ma, mabosi ni samaha kwa sababu i i gave kwa pumba ya mas, majibu iliyotoa he says now you say this is the right answer kwa hiyo waambie jibu sasa hii ndio hili. Now he says it. Akasema naye. On this question say this. Kwenye swali hii jibu hivi. He says it. Akajibu. On this question he says it. Kwenye jibu hili swali hii jibu hivi. Today. Sasa leo. That brother. Huyo ndugu. Is promoted. Cheo alipa amepata. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We are back again. Turuerudi tena. In the days of angels. Kwenye siku za malaika. Hallelujah. Amen. We are back again. Turuerudi. In the days of theophany. Kwenye siku za theophany. Are you hearing me? Nasikia. God can make it possible. Mungu anafanya mambo yawezekane kwamba uko hapa. And you are there. Na uko sehemu nyingine. Atamata. 
Adamu Adamu come back to position Rudi mahali pako Mungu awabariki Mungu awabariki Mungu awabariki sana Mungu awabariki sana Amen